So, and who are the elementals? Well, we talked about the two evolutions so far. The first evolution is the, the evolution of human beings as the sons and daughters of God becoming a son and master. Mm -hmm. Second evolution is angelic evolution. Mm -hmm. The third evolution is called the evolution of the elementals. So again, we can put them on the three evolutions uh, on the threefold flame as we, as we did before. So the elemental evolution is on the blue plume. Blue plume is a plume of Brahma. The angelic plume is a plume of Shiva or Bing plume. And the yellow plume is a evolution of Vishnu as a yellow. So the blue, yellow and pink. Let's talk about the blue one. That we, that the question is about the elementals. Elementals are also there are four times four kinds of element elements, and we call them elements. The word elemental came from the word element. Mm -hmm. They are like air, fire, water, and earth. Mm -hmm. You can say, well, there are five in where is the fifth one? You know, you might be thinking that there are five elements. Mm -hmm. Which is the fifth one? The fifth one envelops all four of these. So Sunday Master talked about the four elements, air, fire, water, and earth. Mm -hmm. And these elementals correspond to each of the four elements. Okay. So so how is, can the knowledge of elemental, you know, help human beings? Excellent question again. Uh, how? Because the three of the all three evolutions work together. Mm -hmm. Sons and daughters of God, the, the angelic and the elementals. Elementals help. Let us, let, let's look at the earth, the elementals on the earth. We call them gnomes. In Hindi, we call them bonas, you know, they, you know, they have a short, you know, four feet, three foot tall, you know, yeah. and they work tirelessly to grow the vegetables, fruits, in the garden, flowers, even the, you know, under the, under the earth, you know, the oil, coal, minerals, gold, jewelry, crystals, I mean, you name it, everything. They work on the earth side of the, to make the life for us very, uh, pleasant, easy life. Acha, uh, now this uh, particular topic uh, reminds me of something which uh, we had read when we were in school. So uh, our books mostly they used to, uh, the, the syllabus was of ICSC and I think it was mostly derived from uh, the, the British uh, curriculum. So uh -huh. we had uh, chapters which had mention of uh, beings like elves and pixies and gnomes and dwarfs. So we we kind of couldn't never understand who these beings were, and it's, it, their pictures were also drawn. Like you know, maybe uh, these uh, gnomes had very pointy ears, or elves have very pointy nose and the pixies, I don't remember, but these were the kind of beings which were shown but which we never ever came across uh, in our daily lives. So we thought that they were mythical creatures, but were they, are they really mythical creatures or do they really exist somewhere uh, in some place uh, doing their own work and somehow the writers of those stories knew about these beings and they introduced in those uh, fables and tales. I used to think like that. I also studied in a, <laughs> in a school, that a mission school, you know, and they, they taught all the kind of things. And then I was, I was thinking along the same lines. I think most of us were, were you, know, you know, thinking like that. That is, are they imagination or are they real or how, where, where do you put them? When I started my journey with the Ascended Master's teachings 45 years ago, then I came to realize they are real. <laughs> and then they have names and they also are very much organized like the angels are organized. Mm -hmm. Angels have a journal, so the, the four kinds of elements, they work under the general, they have a hierarchy also, you know. Mm -hmm. and, they, and so they are very much dedicated, like angels are dedicated to help the human beings, make them flourish, make them happy, make them work. So they also do that. So let's talk about, the, we talked about the norms, mm -hmm. what they do. Then they are beings, we call them sylphs. They purify the air. Mm -hmm. They purify the air because if, you know, daily air is kind of polluted air. So we can also ask them, we can give them the energy 
we can ask them you know, how to please purify the air by, we have some prayers like that they have been given, how we can activate or how we can tell the cells to purify the air over a city mm-hmm. or that smog and fog or you know different things. Likewise, there are elementals who purify the water. We call them undines, U-N-D-I-N-E-S. They purify water like you have a whales, you know, mm-hmm. you see whales and the, how, how, they, how, how, they, how they sound when they in the, in the ocean, they sing all that. But there are whales, but there are also beings like that who purify the water. Now, that is another thing that we, God did not leave the, uh, did not send us to the earth human beings I'm talking about and left the air part undone and water part undone and ground part undone. How are we going to survive? How are we going to eat? So he gave us those things. Then there are fourth type. They're called the salamanders. Because fiery salamanders are very tall. They are 15 to 25 feet tall. What do they do? With the, why they are they so tall? As compared to the norms, they are like, like 3 feet tall, you know. So they purify the, the ether quadrant or the, air, the fire element. They represent the fire element to, in, the, in the nature to balance it. Well, fire element doesn't mean a physical fire per se. Mm-hmm. The fire element is the etheric fire. Mm-hmm. We do have these four elements we talked about in our body as well. So, I'm so talking you about... to say that these beings are present within our body also because the body is also performing all kinds of exactly. functions. Exactly. And it is not acting as voluntarily as we uh, mostly think it to be that everything is happening on its own. They are beings inside of us. I mean, we know of microcosmic beings like uh, say bacteria and you know, gut bacteria, flora, which kind of you know, facilitates the uh, yes. body functions. But according to your knowledge, there are like these very uh, invisible beings also fun- working day and night to help us stay alive, to keep the environment uh, say clean and keep and you know, the entire cosmic system uh, functioning according to the God's plan. Is it that you mean to say? I'll answer it this way. It's a very good question. In the mi- macrocosm, we talked about that. Mm-hmm. In the microcosm body, how do they work? Mm-hmm. Our body is also made up of the same four elements, mm-hmm. the five elements you mm-hmm. call it. I'm calling them four elements, you know, mm-hmm. which you represent. They work with us, but God has given us another unique elemental, mm-hmm. it's called body elemental. Mm-hmm. This knowledge is not known. We have a body elemental who coordinates with these four elements outside. So he is an internal physician in our body. Doctors do not know that. Scientists do not know that. A lot of teachings that are coming to the fore of the mankind knowledge right. about the body elemental, mm-hmm. who is our main physician, who governs the temperature and body and upset and this and that. Uh, 